Here goes! Not now, not ever! Ah! Rosetta! <laughs> So I got to play both the single player story and four player co-op multiplayer of Grand Blue Fantasy Relic and I'm here to let you know what I thought was the best. What's going on people and welcome back to the channel. I go by the name of Mr. Midas now you could have been anywhere in the world right now but you are with me and I appreciate that. Now the wonderful people at Side Games once again inviting me to go hands on on this incredible action RPG and we're talking Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling but this time I actually got to explore the differences playing four player co-op and actually experiencing the story. Now, if you want a full breakdown of what Grand Blue Fantasy is, make sure you check out our previous video. So Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is an action RPG which takes place in the Grand Blue universe. You choose your captain, who's your main protagonist, and either a male or female option. For the preview, I decided to go with the male version because I love Grand's character design. Our preview session was about an hour and a half of the main story from the beginning and the first thing you notice is how stunning this game is. For our preview we played about an hour and a half starting from the beginning and honestly I felt like I was playing on a high end PC not just a PS5. The anime self shaded look is so dope. Oh and this video won't contain any major story spoilers so don't worry. Now JRPGs are known to start pretty slow but Relink throws you into the action pretty quickly teaching you the basics of combat and although it's super simple it's a nice change from the slow start that I'm used to with most games in this genre. Now Relink also starts with a big character party and although this is the first console game in the series it almost felt like a sequel and I loved the characters everyone from Catalina, Rackham and Rosetta. And in typical RPG fashion, you have an adorable animal sidekick. Hey! I ain't no lizard! It, it can talk? Now you can play the game in full English dub or Japanese, which makes me super happy because you already know I am a dub specialist. Now Grand Blue's combat is broken down into two melee attacks, dodges and blocks. Each character has a set of skills which can be pulled off by holding the R1 button and pressing square, triangle, circle or X for their assigned skill. The combat is fun, flashy and a visual delight. Fighting is a huge part of any RPG and this is probably the most fun I've had in an action RPG since Tales of Arise. In our demo we visited a town and I was so impressed on how lived in and vibrant the town was and I love how much the NPCs were interacting and really felt like they lived in this place. I hate in RPGs when the town characters feel stagnant. Guys, I'm talking to you. <coughs> the town allows you to pick up side quests, buy items and enhance your gear. Here is also where you get to select a quest at the quest counter which will allow you to play up to four player co-op. So let's get into that. Grand Blue Fantasy Relic has four player multiplayer combat. Now this online co-op is for quests, not the main story missions. But well, you don't need to worry because side games have put plenty of epic quests for you to complete. Another great thing about Relink is if you can't find a party of four friends, you can mix it up with NPC characters to help make up your party. You select your quest at the quest counter and the further you go through the story, the more quests you unlock. With story and quest, you're looking about 20 to 40 hours played to complete. But the end game quest actually has 40 to 100 plus hours of end game content. This game does not end on completion of the story. In my four player co-op session, I played along 269 from Arix Gaming and some other creators in the preview. And this was all post credit and end game content. Our first quest gave me Monster Hunt of vibes but a lot more simple and basic. We took out this big ass dragon 
and we had to complete this objective in a specific time and we had different objectives that we could complete to get more loot. It was so fun and funny and all of the team up and link up attacks just to take down this dragon was so so enjoyable. Now after we completed this quest we wasn't happy because we didn't get to do all of the objectives so we went again. After you beat a quest you gain loot that you can use to help improve your character stats, give them items to trade and much more. I honestly really enjoyed my time with a multiplayer which is crazy because I am much more of a single player gamer but I love that it didn't feel over complex like a monster hunter. It just felt so easy to play with friends and I could even play this with some randoms. Then we got to see the developers take on a super hard end game quest boss and oh my days I was wrong. This session blew me away. The multiplayer always seemed simple and easy to me when I was playing but they showed how complex and deep it can actually get. The quest boss was insane, inflicting paralysis and giving itself lots of buffs. Even though their character stats were 150 plus and their weapons were plus 99, even the developers struggled to take out this foe. I've said it a hundred times, I am the biggest story gamer but I have to say I'm more excited to jump on a Twitch stream with three friends and take out those crazy quest foes. But what do you think? Are you excited to play Grand Blue Fantasy Relink's multiplayer or are you all about the story and you want to know where the captain's story takes you? Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. We really appreciate your support and if you enjoyed this content please drop a comment and a like and we would love a subscribe. Once again, huge thank you to Side Games. We out of here. Peace.